сердца каковы ожидания от предстоящего раунда There are a lot of challenges um, that we have not been able to overcome in the past 15 years mm -hmm. in terms of the main agenda items. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And as you know, these key agenda items are non-use of force, international security arrangements, and return of internally displaced uh, people and IDPs. I mean, and refugees. Um, these challenges, um, I believe, have become even more exacerbated under the current circumstances that we are facing. However, that doesn't mean that uh, we lose hope. Но тем не менее это не значит, что мы потеряли надежду. And uh, I believe, especially, it's very important uh, to uh, indeed focus on certain practical steps, uh, especially uh, to prevent uh, situations that will cause uh, stress escalation from happening. And to do everything possible to make the lives of the people living along the administrative boundary lines uh, uh, more uh, safer, predictable, easier. We, of course, uh, talked about the upcoming GID round. And uh, what the expectations are. Uh, but, of course, we had to also uh, discuss the incident uh, in Kiribati. Where a person was killed, and uh, we, as co-chairs, are very concerned about that incident. Uh, I believe disproportionate force was used. And we have to think collectively about how to ensure uh, the safety of uh, populations along the line. That is a, a, an important task of the GID. To address the interests of the populations. And so uh, we hope that in uh, Geneva we can have uh, fruitful discussions about. About how to uh, collectively uh, address these kinds of situations and prevent these kinds of situations. The important thing is not only uh, to uh, talk to local people about uh, specific uh, situations or specific uh, 
rules. На мой взгляд, важно не только то, чтобы говорить с местным населением об особых каких-то правилах, but also to take into consideration the history of uh, of uh, the uh, the local populations and the fact that there are historical links between uh, people, between uh, uh, religious monuments, and we should preserve these links and we should cherish, cherish these links. Также то, что у местного населения есть исторические связи, исторические связи с конкретными местами поклонения, церквями и так далее. И мы должны уважать и обелеять исторические связи местного населения. And what can be done together to, to uh, respect those links and, and, uh, and uh, again, take care of the population on the ground, the life, improve the lives of the population on the ground. И также мы должны сообщать думать о том, как сохранять эти исторические связи и также еще раз думать о том, как Предотвратить трагедии и сохранять жизнь людей, живущих в Бразилии.